Hello and welcome back. There is a Velma conspiracy theory flying around the internet and it's hilarious. We're going to look at that today, but first, something really special for you that is not a sponsorship. Young Witch by Wilbur Seymour. This is a gorgeous fantasy novel. It's not super long, but it's well written and it follows a young elf who is a witch, or W-Y-T-C-H. It's brilliantly written, great use of the setting, the world building is phenomenal, and I literally read this in a weekend. Just absolutely fantastic, and just a very human story with the, her own hardships and struggles, just absolutely great, and I wholeheartedly recommend you read it. Now, link to this book is in the description below. This video is not sponsored, but I wanted to give a shout out to this fantastic writer. Now, Velma, we know it's not been good, we know it's bad. At the moment they're trying to cancel Mindy, and I don't like her, I don't like her humour. This conspiracy theory is hilarious, and I'm going to pick on a couple of tweets which I'm incl not including in this video for very good reason. I don't want drama from this person. And the reaching in these tweets is funny because these come from a very very much a leftist account. So, he wrote, or she wrote, or whatever wrote, Velma is an example of black propaganda. It's made to look like something the woke, air quotes, would produce. Making fun of alpha males, race-swapping characters, etc. But it does so intentionally cringy manner into, in order to allow right-wing YouTubers to say, woke art sucks. The fact that you're calling this art is hilarious. Then the whole thread goes into one last thing. Velma is currently trending number one on HBO Max. The plan worked. Rage bait attracts eyeballs and boost metrics. And I'm perform performatively angry about anything that looks like an inch to the left of Ben Shapiro YouTuber ecosystem made that possible. Where do we start with this? Th this is not. Uh, this is not a troll. This is not anything. This is not a, con a real conspiracy. It's just absurdly ridiculous at this point. This show was intentionally designed to appeal to a certain audience. And it shows. The thing is, they can't... The, these people that are saying it's a conspiracy theory can't fathom why it's bad. Because it ticks every box possible. And the irony is, I think if it had been mildly more successful, they wouldn't have said a word and the haters just would have been labelled misogynists or some other buzzword. This show is just bad. And I watched the first two episodes and I will not be watching any more of it. I'm not even bothering. I had enough of putting my own mental health through trauma thanks to Rings of Power. This show is just a disaster. And it's been greenlit for a second season. Yay! Oh, God. Note the sarcasm here. This show is just a prime example of anything that seems to be happening right now. From race-swapping, gender-swapping characters, to inserting politics into things that don't need to have politics. Scooby-Doo could have been done as an adult show... But it wasn't. In any way, shape, or form, it wasn't. And they could have just done Scooby-Doo dealing with maybe a little bit more of a horror scenario or just dealing with slightly more adult issues rather than, let's do this show. And ironically, they don't even have the rights to show Scooby-Doo. Not only is this show a prime example of just bad writing 101, it is also a complete an utter mess. Characterization, storytelling, and all of the other stuff, it just goes to show that it's a mess. And just because something has diversity and representation doesn't mean it's good. And it's just a ridiculous situation. There is no way around it. Like, watching the fallout of this show is just funny. That's the only words I've got for it. And... I think people are getting a kind of taste of their own medicine at this point. 
Do I feel the show should never have been made? Yes. Do I feel like we just want Scooby-Doo to be Scooby-Doo and nothing else? Yes. It's simple. It, it's not a difficult concept for people to d take in. This show is a disaster. There's no conspiracy. There's no rage bait going on. It was just made by a bunch of idiots. Let's be honest here. And it shows that these morons... It's cultural Marxism, and I could go into a whole rant over that. But Scooby-Doo should be innocent. It should be fun. It shouldn't be this. So, as always, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm curious on this one. But also, and I'm going to put this one out there. And I can't wrap my head around it that kind of woke Twitter can't fathom that something that ticks every box of modern entertainment is bad. It's funny. And it shouldn't be funny. So anyway, I will talk to you guys a bit later.